Hey everyone, in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to make video intros for YouTube. And the thing that you really gotta pay attention to when you make video intros is you really gotta make them stand out. They gotta be really epic. Otherwise, because it's in the beginning of your video, people may leave. People typically leave anyway in the first 10 seconds of the video just because how YouTube works and people just click away. So if your video intro doesn't really stand out or if it's too long, people will leave but I'm gonna show you how to do it step by step in a way that is really powerful. So it's gonna be a little bit of an advanced guide, but I'll simplify it the best I can. And all you really need is a website that I'll link below, and you also need a video editing software. I'll show you which one I use. I have a free trial to it if you don't have it. Now with those two tools, you can make a very engaging YouTube video intro in less than 10 minutes. Now let me show you where I get the template for these because creating this from scratch will require hours and very technical knowledge. This is a template that basically takes care of 95% of the work for you. And this platform is called Envato Elements. And I've used Envato in my video production work for almost nine years now. And this is what I want you to do. I want you to go to the search bar here and type in YouTube video intro and a bunch of different things are gonna show up. Right now we care about video templates, but just to give you an idea what this platform does for you, everything I use on my YouTube channel, on all my YouTube channels actually I get from here. So music, royalty free, so I never get copyrights, stock video, stock photos, graphic templates, sound effects, everything is organized here for basically one low monthly price, far cheaper than if you use other platforms to get these. So let me just show you here. I'm gonna go see more under video templates. And the software that I'll use later to edit these is called Adobe Premiere Pro, which I will also link below. And it has a seven day free trial, so you could just make this if you want with that trial. But I use it all the time anyway to edit my video. So I'm gonna select this option. There are some for After Effects too, but I think After Effects is a little bit too complex. Even though you get more fancy animations, uh, I typically just stick with Adobe Premiere Pro. Now what you could do here is if you just scroll over any one of these, it's gonna show you a brief animation of what it's gonna look like. So this is gonna look like this, but you could obviously change the name and the pictures and the video. And I actually browsed this already and this one I really like because it's so simple. It has the YouTube logo and then it will go into your logo. So you will replace that logo with your own. So let me show you what you need to do here. I'm gonna click on this here. And again, this has a commercial license, so you don't actually have to worry about any issues when you download things from different websites. Sometimes they don't have a commercial license and you may get into copyright issues later. That's why I just stick with this for the monthly price. It's well worth it. And then I'll show you how to get like a music, like a logo sting sound effect too, to go along with it but all you have to do is basically find one you like and press download. Now, if you don't have an account, you could use the link below to sign up or you could just watch the video to see if this is worth it for you and I'll show you the finished product at the end here that I'm creating. Now, the next thing you need is Adobe Premiere Pro because what I just downloaded will need to open in Adobe Premiere Pro and if you click the link below, it'll bring you here where you could start a free trial. If you already have it, then you could just skip this step and uh, it's about 20 to $25 a month, depending on what kind of program you sign up for. And this one that's $50, this is called Adobe Creative Cloud. So you get like Photoshop and Illustrator and like 20 some different apps with this. This is just for the one app that we need in this case. But if you're gonna use Photoshop and After Effects and things like that, this might be better. This is what I have actually. So I'm gonna go to the download folder on my computer and it downloaded here. So it's just three folders. This project folder, this is the Premiere Pro project. So let me go ahead and open this up. And you may get a pop-up here. I'm just gonna press okay. And if you've never used Premiere Pro before, it may look a little intimidating, but it's actually pretty simple. Right here where it says main render, probably where it opened up for you, it just, this is basically the finished video here. Obviously we need to change something here, but this was one of the most simple ones. I'm gonna press spacebar here. I just went to the beginning, press spacebar. As you could see, it's gonna do this little cool animation. Again, if you did this from scratch or if you hired someone, <laughs> it would take a lot of experience and a lot of money to do something like this. So what I need to change is just this logo 
and maybe this text, that's all. So to change that, if I double click this green line, it's gonna open this projects tab, right? So I have a main render, which is where I'm gonna finish up my project. The projects tab basically puts everything on its own line, right? So if I go over here, you see these eyeballs, I could turn any of them on or off and I have different controls over each one. Now, the tagline, this is what's showing up on top. I'm gonna to turn this off because I don't need a tagline. I just need my logo here. So over here, there's another box called tagline. This says Envato.com, but I could double click this to change this. So if you wanted to keep this, just double click it and then click up here and change it here, okay? So you would type in your own text over here. Now. In my case, I already turned this off, so I don't need to do that. Now I'm gonna go to logo. The logo I do need to change though, right? So this is the Envato logo. I need to bring in my own logo. So to do that, this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna come to window workspace and I'm gonna reset the workspace. So yours kind of looks like the same as mine over here. And then there should be a project box over here called YouTube intro. I need to bring in my logo into this box. And here is my logo. Again, I've already designed this in another Adobe software called Adobe Illustrator, or you could just figure out how to get a logo if you don't have one. I do have videos covering that as well. But basically, I just need to bring this into this project. I'm grabbing it, putting it over here. And there we go. Now we have a logo over here. Now I'll drag it from this box and just put it on top here. Okay, I'm replacing this. It looks like I'll still need to extend this out, so I'm gonna delete the rest of it. So this could be a little bit longer, like 10 seconds. This is your second mark, by the way. So zero to 10 seconds. Now I could select this and there's an option here called effects control where I could make it smaller or bigger. Right now, I'm just gonna leave it at 100, but if we decide to change the size later, that's how you would do that. Now let's go back to our main render box over here and let's see how this turned out. So this is all the same, but then it's gonna go to my logo and let's see, the size is actually really good, right? I don't need to shrink it down. It hid behind this animation and opened perfectly. So if I press play again with the space bar, let's look at the animation. Very cool. And you could shrink it down. So let's see, I want this maybe to be six seconds. So I'm gonna grab the end here and bring it back. And you can see the time six seconds, pretty cool. So it's gonna go to the six second mark and then I'll start my video there. Now, the only thing this is missing is a little bit of a sound effect to really bring it all together. So let's figure out where to get a logo sting. Let me go back to the website and I'll go back to the homepage. And this time let's look up logo sting and it's gonna show some other video templates, but this time we want sound effects. So I'm gonna press see more on their sound effects. And this is why I love this website because it's all in one place. I don't have to download a bunch of different things from different websites. Now you would listen to each one by pressing play and I've already listened to a bunch of these and I like this one, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and download this one here and I'll go to my downloads folder, it's this one here. It's just an MP3 file. I'm gonna go ahead and bring it over here and let's go ahead and take it from here and this time we wanna go to audio track one, not video, right? This is audio and I'm gonna shrink this down to match the length of this one. Now, let me go ahead and press play Now it looks like the timing doesn't quite work out, right? Because the climax of this song is over here. So I'll just kind of move it over and shrink it down because this is, I think, where it happens. Almost, I'll move it over a little bit more. And I'm just kind of matching up the timing here with, there we go, that works a lot better. Now what I could do is I could select this file or the video track. I could right click on it or control click if you're on a Mac and right here, speed or duration, you could actually make this go faster. So I could make this maybe like 200% and it'll give me a much quicker. Now this is only three seconds, right? So I could bring the audio track back. Let's see. Cool, so I'll just extend this. Now I have a exactly a four second intro, which is perfect. Like I said in the beginning, you don't want your intro to be so long that people leave because they're not getting the content they want. Perfect. So now to basically get this out of this and into our project here, I typically will edit from uh, this program anyway, but you could go to file, 
you could go to export and press media right here. And my format for this is H.264. So you would select H.264 here and you could select a preset here called YouTube 1080p. OK, you would select that and you would name your file. And I've made a folder here called logo intro and I'll name this video intro affinity. Right. The name on my channel. I'll go ahead and save it. And then you just have to press export right over here. Now, if I just open that folder here, I'm going to press space bar. Perfect. Now I could play this or add this to any video I want from this point forward. Now this technique may be a little too advanced, but as you can see, you get kind of these video intros that really stand out, right? They look highly produced and it looks like you paid someone thousands of dollars to make this for you. And it didn't cost us that much money at all to make very powerful video intros for our YouTube channel. I want to thank Imbato Elements for sponsoring this video. I've been again using Imbato for nine years, one of my favorite platforms. And Imbato Elements puts everything into one bundle that's really easy to use. Thanks so much for watching this video. I will see you next time.